Welcome back to Artists Exposed with Tim Moss. This is such a glorious day, I'm telling you. Not just the wonderful weather that we have, but my wonderful oh. guest, Ratanya Alda, is here. Oh, I'm, I'm having I'm such a good time. Me too. I could just sit and chat with you <laughs> yeah, all day. We could have a binge. <laughs> <laughs> a talking binge. <laughs> well, her book is Ratanya Alda's The Mommy Dearest Diary. Now, why it is called that is because she was, played Carol Ann in the incredibly famous movie, Mommy Dearest. Um, and I was on the movie for almost four months, wow. from day one to the last day. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I really didn't, nev I never intended to publish this diary. I kept the diary as a personal journal because I was going through some very difficult personal thing mm -hmm. issues in my life. And I was going through some very difficult challenges on the set with, mm -hmm. with uh, Miss, Miss Dunaway. So I, a way of me to deal with both of these things was to journal them and I've wow. never kept a diary afterwards so it's uh -huh. not like I'm not keeping it's, it's not amazing. like I'm keeping a diary in every movie I've never kept one before or since wow. but doing there this there was a reason was that this, you did well God bless whatever happened exactly. I'm really thankful but so I kept this diary for myself personally and I put it away I mm -hmm. never thought anybody was interested in my diary I never thought you know until like about three years ago, I did a show with Heather Lettuce at the Ziegfeld. I yes, love. I was there. I, well, that's when there. I that's first when interviewed you. Oh, that's you. right. That's yes. right. That's right. Oh my uh -huh. God, we had that connection. <laughs> that's when it started. I thought, hmm, people may there, be interested. You, know? you had a theater and, full of people and, interested. And just and that's when I started getting the idea. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. people may. And then I went to the Castro, where another yes. like, and then and then I said, okay, I'm going to write. People are interested. I have the only real account of what happened Absolutely. on this movie. On this movie, you got the inside scoop. So, <laughs> so I, so I journaled it. Now, really, honestly, without my son, who is a wonderful editor, mm -hmm. also he edited the uh, the Vassar Papers, which mm -hmm. is like one of the most prestigious wow. one in the in the country, the Vassar newspaper, and then um, my friend Leon Jusen, who did the artwork. You know, it takes a team to do this, mm -hmm. and it yeah. takes Jeremy kicking, shoving, pushing me, and saying, "Mom, do this, do this, uh -huh. get it out, get it out." So, uh, so I'm really grateful for that, my little team, because uh -huh. really, it, it's really big thing that that this book got. Absolutely, done. <laughs> absolutely. Well, just to kind of cover a few things. Um, uh, Mommy Dearest, of course, is the story of Christina Crawford's uh, life as the child of the famous Hollywood actress Joan Crawford. Yes. And she was adopted and according to the movie abused and um, how else would you describe that? <laughs> well, you know, it's interesting because I think Christina's book is different from the movie. Really? Uh -huh. I think I mean there's a lot of there's some lot of similarities, similarities in it so I can't say it's a totally right. but I think in the movie they focus more on Joan. It was yeah. really, it was more a story about Joan. Right. And uh, Christina, you know, it, it's it's hard to know really what went on. Only, yeah, only, absolutely. only few absolutely. people know, you know. And again, it's her account it's of her what account. happened. And it's her account. And you know, if Joan had written a book, it would be her account. Mm -hmm. And right. what I say in my book is also, this was my personal experience. Right. This is right. what I went through. Somebody else could have gone through a whole other, had a whole other experience on yep, this movie. Absolutely. So it's very personal. So um, it's, it, it, it is about uh, child abuse. It's a certain kind of child abuse. I think more, more of a perfectionist person who yep. tries to be a perfectionist right. and mm -hmm. kind of controlling. I think it's all also relative because I think Joan's own earlier life was so Absolutely. hard and so, so, so uh, poor that probably in her mind she thought, "Why well, these kids have it all?" Absolutely. You know. Absolutely. So from her point of view, which I try to justify in as my as Carol Ann, from her point of view, listen, these kids have it good. Mm -hmm. From other kids' point of view, like the Bing Crosby kids and other celebrity right. kids, you know, Desi Arnaz, mm -hmm. I think, Junior. You know, from their point of view, it's a different Absolutely. viewpoint. Right. So this is taken from, sort of from Christina's point of view, but I think in the movie they really changed it a lot. They, they kind of matched it, Christina and Joan. Mm -hmm. Christina's book, it's more from Christina's point of view as a right. child. In the book, uh, they were enamored with Joan, obviously. Uh -huh. and so many people are and she was really I mean I have to respect this woman this yeah. woman had a 
50 year old career she right. what she what did she she was incredible i i mean i personally love her uh-huh same here and i can't i've I, got a lot of respect i've got a lot of respect for her and i love her movies and uh so you know it's a love affair and then but no love affair is ever perfect right exactly so, there we go. and also trying to run an entertainment yeah. empire as they were making it up as they were going along oh, at that time yeah. Yeah. and then adopting a child having motherhood thrown on top of that um and not knowing what to expect with that or how to do that and, and then having metro drop her and right. then all of a sudden That's you're we, you're yeah. no you're you're out of absolutely you, I, I mean the pressures were incredible yeah. i yeah. mean their the pressures were which is no excuse for child yeah. abuse but but, but <laughs> you understand that she couldn't do it at the studio so if, if, if she's going to vent, she vents at home. Right, I mean, right, so many exactly. people do that. They come home from the office and they can't scream at the boss yeah, and they right. scream at the wife or the kids right. or whatever. And then she comes home and she's told Christina how many yeah. times, no wire hangers, yeah. and it happened to be a bad day and it, yeah. her bad days would be real bad days. Yeah. And so the, the is, wire hanger, I do want to talk about that scene, but go ahead. <laughs> no, I, I think you got it. I think you said it. Mm -hmm. You know, I think we, we all are complicated human beings right. and we're not perfect. Right. And most of the time, we do the best we can, and a lot of times, we make mistakes. Absolutely, you know? absolutely. So, um, can we just talk about a few of the scenes or a few of the people? I know you mentioned about challenges with Faye Dunaway, yeah, yeah. which is in the book. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, like the wire hanger scene, for example, did now did she ac she accidentally hit the girl, or were you there on set that it day? Was, or? I, I was on set, but I wasn't. I was all. I mean, I wasn't shooting, but right. I was on set. It wasn't so much in the wire hanger thing that it. Ha I mean, oh, okay. she might. Have, it was in the scissor cutting scene, oh, where yeah. where with the hair, uh -huh. where they made the mistake of they only had three wigs uh -huh. for the little girl, so, so um, only three takes of that. Three takes, yeah. so. Uh, what happened is on the l next to the last take, I think, the second take, that Faye accidentally nicked her with the scissors. Mm. And then Mara went screaming off the set. You know, she hurt uh -huh. me, she hurt me. Mar Mara is Mara the young actress girl. that played yeah. the l young yeah. Christina. And they were like panicked because, oh now luckily it wasn't very deep, and the uh -huh. makeup man. Dick took care of it, and then the doctor came in, and said that was fine. You know, it wasn't just a surface thing, but that was the big moment when all of a sudden, wow. you know, yeah. that was that was when she got hurt. The other one, the other one, she was padded when she hit oh, her. Okay. She she was padded, so it was it didn't really hurt oh, her. <laughs> I yeah. mean, it looked it looked real, yes, it and it, it really that looked, looked painful, and yeah, but it was on the scissor cut that she uh -huh. got hurt. Well, now with Faye Dunaway, what is her? reason for almost distancing herself from that performance which is such a well-known performance that's what i don't understand who knows <laughs> i mean i mean can i say that somebody must not have a sense of humor or fun oh. <laughs> or takes themselves too seriously <laughs> or takes yourself too seriously i mean my gosh <laughs> If I were her, I would be embracing this exactly. all over the place. I would, right? you know, I have no idea because you know what? I think she did a great job. I do too. <laughs> I thought she was remarkable. I think she was really terrific. Uh -huh. So I don't fault her her work at all. I thought she was. I, if I was her, I would be proud of it. I'd, I would say yes, uh -huh. I did this and this and this, and yes, I did, Mommy Dearest, and I'm glad I did it. I was terrific in it. Exactly. Instead of instead of. No, I don't want to talk. All those things she said, I don't want yeah. to talk. She distanced, who knows, now she is going to write, finally, going to write her own book oh, well, good. through a ghostwriter. Okay. Because I know a friend of mine that just got, got approached to write, be a ghostwriter, he won't do it. Uh -huh. He said, I'm not going to put myself through this. So right. she must have gone through, my guess is several ghostwriters, to approach <laughs> my friend. With that reputation. Yeah. <laughs> so I know she has a deal with a, a book publishing company, so she's got to get the book out. Uh -huh. But I, I suggested to her, why don't you just read my book and you can get an outline of what happened and then uh -huh. you can fill in, you know, yeah, your right. stuff. You know, uh -huh. I'm, I'm all... I'll read your book. It's okay. I'll yeah. see how you fill it in. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know. Who knows what's <laughs> going on? <laughs> well, now, is it true that it was recommended that you 
make yourself less attractive or like for as as you were preparing for the role of Carol Ann which Carol Ann was the what was it the assistant or yeah, secretary, secretary assistant, care, caregiver of the role of Joan Crawford it yeah. wasn't just suggested it was like if you don't look worse you're gonna get fired who, oh really who said Mary, that? Frank said Faye will may have me fire you and there's nothing I can do yeah, yeah. So oh it wasn't just, it was like a lot of pressure. And we and the makeup man. To try not to, to be try, too pretty. And he put, he gave me a little longer nose tip so that kind of dragged down my face a little bit. And um, it was just a lot of stress. So she really took the role of Joan Crawford seriously. <laughs> you know, the real Joan always, if you watch pictures, she always had attractive assistants around her. The people true. that were very yeah. well dressed, uh -huh. they weren't. They were like, representing they her. Were representing that makes her. sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So but, it's interesting. Wow. Yeah. I guess Faye didn't want the attention yeah, taken away or deflected from her. From her. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, uh, my guest is Ratanya Alda, the fabulous Carol Ann in the movie Mommy Dearest, amongst a long list of other films and television shows. Um, and the name of the book is The Mommy Dearest Diary. And you've got her perspective of everything that happened a diary that was kept throughout the entire making of mommy dearest the film and um this was also helped out by your son jeremy who is also here i'm just going to have him step inside and for just a moment and give us a little bit of an insight of what that was like so we'll be right back 